Donna, welcome to uh, Singapore. You've uh, managed to get here now. How are things uh, panning out? Oh, really good, Tom. Um, feeling the heat today, of course, quite muggy. But uh, we've had our first three trial this morning and from all accounts have done really well. You know, um, they'll probably benefit from definitely having another trial. OK, so uh, Whakaria Mai, 26-12 and uh, Command Royal went around the trials today. How'd they uh, handle the poly track? Uh, look, 26-12 felt, you know, he, the kickback coming up at him. He was sort of looking a bit on the turn. Um, got to get used to that. Uh, I think Whakaria Mai is probably prefer the turf, to be fair, looking at his, his action. Uh, Command Royale cope with it quite well, though. A bit different to the uh, the beach sand at Rukaka? Definitely. You haven't got, uh, got a herd of horses in front of you kicking it up. But it's a different sort of footing. Like uh, Craig Grill said today, it's deep, but it is, um, it's not deep like mud deep. It's still very forgiving. So and, and they were a little bit unsure, the rider said today. They were just, you know, unsure of their footing in it. So hey, we're all learning and it's early days. Have they all have they all settled into the climate here? Look, they've done too well, actually, looking at them today after their trials, these guys. They've licked their bowls clean and they're eating all their hay and they've all had a really good blow. They'll, they'll take a lot of improvement from it. OK, uh, how long before you uh, think you'll get your first runner onto the racetrack? Uh, we'll look at our next trial and see that, you know, we are a lot closer. We're probably a bit behind the eight ball, um, just getting them settled in and, and getting to learn the procedures around here. But we're here for a long time, so uh, we're not panicking. OK, uh, you've brought a, another shipment of horses over. Are, are they still in quarantine? Uh, Volkstock and Barrel's in quarantine now, and the other horses arrive early May. So, uh, again, we're moving into a new block of stables, so it's, it's not bad having a small team and teaching the staff what we do. It's quite different to what they do here generally, so... Training the staff and getting to know the tracks for us has been a big thing with a small team. Must be a, a highlight for you being able to bring a horse of the quality of box, stock and barrel across here. Definitely. Um, I just hope he really settles in. He's a pretty well-travelled horse, so one would imagine he will. He'll move into the new block of stables with us, so he should really enjoy it. A wee while before he races, no doubt, but um, big races coming up later on the year you'd like to target? Definitely. Those wait-for-age races will be... That's the main goal for him. We brought him up here with those in mind. He was outweighted in, in New Zealand and not enough opportunities for him. And if he went to Australia and, and not go in the group, big group ones, he was going to be outweighted there. So these races will be ideal for him. And I think, um, you know, if he, he really does settle in, he's going to be a really horse to be reckoned with. You mentioned uh, a new block. Of course, you're down here in the village at the moment, but you're moving to uh, HK Tarn's old block. Yeah, definitely. Um, I must say he left the place immaculate. It's, it's a pleasure to move into a nice, clean, big, bright block like that. Um, I'm sure the horses will enjoy it, as will the staff. We'll get, get, get ourselves all sorted into systems up there. We've got our systems in place here, but now it's just sorting ourselves into systems up there. No doubt some of the staff you've got, uh, good to have them with you because uh, they've got experience here in Singapore racing. Yeah, great team of guys we've got. I'm really impressed with them been very helpful and they're very knowledgeable of Singapore and the racing here so I'm very lucky.